We all know when it comes to the game of football, your kicking game got to be on point. And when you're kicking game, there's a little lackadaisical and things are just not going in the manner what you want them to do. You got to get back out there and find some people to come in there that's going to be able to put them points up on the board when it's crucial. You never know when you might get one of those games where it's real tight. And the only way you're going to escape is kicking a field goal. Well, you know what? Coach Prime said, hey, enough is enough. I'm going to bring a young man into this program in which we're going to have us a kicking contest to see who's going to be here kicking these field goals for Jackson State next season. Now, I'm going to put it to you like this. <clears throat> Trust me when I tell you, this young man he got coming in can kick that bad boy a ton. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what's going on because you know it's your favorite coach back at it again. To the toes down, I'm about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, make sure you like, comment, and share these videos. And hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. And also, tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's nothing but positive vibes over here. We just have a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and tap on in this thing right now and get straight to the brass tacks of what's going on. Because we already know that the kicking game has been something that has made Coach Prime, you know, on a few occasions decide, hey, we're going to go for it on fourth down because the kickers were not able to make kicks at crucial times when they needed them to make them the most. And when you, when you get in that mindset as a coach, you tend to say, hey, look, I got to find or I got to do something different so that we can get, you know, these points on the board. Because, again, as I stated previously, you never know when you might be in a dogfight where that field goal is going to win that game. And not to mention, you might play up against a team that, you know, they might strengthen up their defense. And you got, if you don't have a kicker that can kick that bad boy from long range, boy, there's going to be some shortcomings out there. And I'm pretty sure Coach Prime and the coaching staff for Jackson State have sat back and said, hey, we got to dot all I's and cross out cross all T's, and crossing them T's is bringing in a kicker that can kick this bad boy. And I'm going to tell you right now, this kicking During game. the spring season, the kickers for JSU, they went five for six kicking the ball, 39 yards or below. Now, anything outside of that, we never saw Jack State kick any field goals outside of 39 yards. Now, during the fall season, things didn't go as planned. Kicking kind of got a little worse because they went four for 12 kicking, the, kicking field goals that was from – the range of 39 yards and below. Now, when I drilled down a little further into the numbers to see what was really going on with the kickers this past season, I did see that they went two for six kicking field goals between 40 and 49 yards. And I'm sure Coach Prime was sitting there looking at his crystal ball saying, you know what? We got to find something to get this situated because we can't continue to keep going down this same road. I don't want to jump back into the celebration bowl because I know that's still a little rough spot for everybody. But yeah, we did leave, leave a couple of those field goals out on the field. We left, some, we left a lot of points out there on the field in which the game could have been a little closer than what was anticipated if we had somebody that was able to kick the ball. And... You know, and Coach Prime and the coaching staff trusted them to go out there to put the points up on the board for the team to at least keep them in contention in the game. Coach Prime said, hey, let me rub on my crystal ball right here and see what I can come up with. And what he came up with is a young man that can really get after it, kicking field goals. And not to mention he's a punter as well. According to Max Prep, this young man is ranked fourth in the state of he Georgia. He was first team all state for 6A. He was first team all region. He was first team all finals. He was a uh, specialist of the year, first team all county two times and two times state champion. And also he was an honorable mention all state. Now this young man here uh, has held the kicking duties down for Buford High School here in Georgia for the past two seasons that they've had the two state championship runs. He has made 60 of 63 point after attempts. He's 9 of 13 kicking field goals this past season. This young man name is Alejandro Mata, kicker slash punter for Buford High School. Here in Georgia, here in the state of Georgia, he's a five-star recruit that has just committed to Jackson State University Tigers football team. Now, this young man here, looking at some of his film, 
Watching this young man work on his craft is something to take notice of because he keeps grinding until he gets it down pat as far as with kicking, kicking those field goals. And he has been able to make some big-time field goals in crunch, especially the one where he uh, kicked the field goal with no time left on the clock for the team to get the ball back to even make a drive and win the game. I mean, that, that, one was a, that was a thing of beauty right there when you get to kick – a ball, you get to kick a field goal, and all of the time expires off the clock. So I know that was that was something for him that will forever be uh, enjoyed. That that will be a forever memory for him playing high school football. Now that he's moving on to the college ranks. Now, watching this young man kick a forty-five yarder off the ground in some nasty weather. I mean, it 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 takes some some real getting down to it to make it happen. Here, I got a I got a couple of clips from his Twitter account where it shows him out there just working on his craft. I mean, he's out there kicking in crazy weather, just in case if he's out there on a Friday, he was out there on a Friday night, and he had to get out there and make that kick in that same type of weather, he was prepared to do it. Not to mention, this young man also kicked a 50-yarder. Watch this young man go to work. And what I'm seeing him do here is he had, he's kicking them off the ground. So... He has his, his little tee that, he, that holds the ball up for him for him to kick these kicks. So, I mean, you got to give this young man credit as far as with what he's looking to do and how he's working on his craft because not too many folks are going to get out there and work on their craft, especially when they have to do it by themselves. And this young man takes the time to do what he needs to do to make sure he's prepared to do it. Not to mention, did I mention this young man was in a Georgia-Florida high school show, showcase where they was out there kicking the balls as well? This young man is for real, man. With what he's doing, I've seen a couple of I've seen a couple of kickers here in the state of Georgia that can really get after it, kicking field goals and punting balls as well. So you got to give them their credit. You got to give these young men their credit, just like you would the offense, defensive linemen, and the quarterbacks, and so on and so forth. But I'm sure Coach Prime saw this young man kick and said, "Hey, we got to bring this young man into the program immediately." And I'm going to be honest with you, I got to congratulate Mr. Alejandro Mata on committing to Jackson State University. Looking forward to seeing him doing some phenomenal things out there on the field next season. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to so get all upcoming videos. And remember, be the one and lead.